As you can see, my colleagues and I are working at the Royal Tapestry Factory of Santa Isabel. But this effort that is seen by the civilian painter Diego Rodriguez de Silva, even after, is much more than a snapshot. This oil painting, made between 1655 and 1660, stands out for the spinning wheel and the deficit thanks to the different environments described by lights and sound. It is quite a display of technique and narrative. Along with Las Meninas, it is one of the most common pieces by the famous painter. Can you see a tapestry in the background? It is the rape of Europe, and it is the key to understanding that this painting is a representation of the classical myth of Arachne, the fable told by Ovid. The image in the tapestry is inspired by Titian's painting for Philip II of Spain, who at the same time copied from Rubens during one of his trips to Madrid. The Lafayette represented himself along with two great masters of painting, putting together the Venetian, Spanish, and Flemish schools in a single painting. In front of the image, in the background scene, we find a character wearing a helmet that represents Athena, who is punishing the artisan for having with equal to her tapestry images the conjugal infidelity of goddesses father Zeus with the name Europe. What we are seeing is the outcome of the contest when the goddesses turns mortal into spider. Here in the foreground, the progress of the contest is represented with Athena spinning at the wheel while Arachne, my character, is winning war. This is the reason this painting is known as the spinners or the fable of Arachne.